Whoosh, look at this. Man, hey, good morning. We've got some smoke that's been pulled into the backyard because of a cold front that's come through here. This is our backyard, the Idaho Falls in front of the Chamber of Commerce Visitor Center where you can get a flask and a t-shirt at a discount price. Uh, they have all of those. I, I don't know if they got the last thing. That's probably over at Shadow Domain, but look at how windy it is. We're seeing gusts of 30 plus miles an hour. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh, where's he going? Ah, yard crew spritzing it. Normally you don't see people drive down that way. Uh, that was kind of weird going into the underlands. 60 degrees in Idaho Falls. That's where we are. 24 mile an hour winds because of a cold front came through last night. You can see the breeze is blowing. We've already seen 30 mile an hour gust around here and we've got, well, there's 36 mile an hour gust. That's enough to flip your wig. I may take mine off later. Uh, it'll be gusty in the West Yellowstone up there near the train station. Yeah, the TV show, when they talk about the train station, that's right in here. It's where people go and they don't come back. It's a one-way ticket to a dirt nap is what that is. We're going to start showing Yellowstone on Channel 3, CBS, this Sunday, Sundays, after 60 Minutes. In case you've never seen Yellowstone with Kevin Costner, uh, it'll be showing. The, you can start the series from the beginning, and that'll be on uh, TV because the writer strike. Yeah. So we, we're going to start rerunning stuff. We've edited it for television. I don't know how much of it's actually going to be. There. It may be a short show. If you edit Beth out, you got nothing. And if, it, it, you know what? Call the sales, the sales department should sell that to a therapy group or something. Total opportunity, sales opportunity. Wind advisories today through 9 o'clock tonight. Gusty winds, 30 to 50 miles an hour maybe. We saw 60 mile an hour gusts yesterday with the front that came through here. And it's going to kick up some dust. It's pulling smoke in from the west. So mid-70s, Jackson Hole will be about 70 degrees. Then we warm up a little bit, be about 76. You like his suit? Ferrell's, Idaho Falls. Yeah, man, the pants fit. People walk in there wanting to know where I get my clothes from. Yeah, it's because I'm a styling and a profiling. I'm the Ric Flair of weather. It'll be 47 for Saturday morning and 73 for Saturday in Jackson. We start to really build up on some of these fireworks of Mother Nature's favorite brand uh, on into Labor Day Monday. So I think they got a rodeo this weekend in Jackson too. Uh, we got the fair coming to Blackfoot. That starts Friday. And uh, tomorrow, I think, tomorrow at noon, we're going to be taste testing some of the new foods out there on live national Idaho Wyoming television broadcasting to the universe on the internet at localnews8.com. So make sure you follow this channel, that one, and click, 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 because that's how I keep my job. 76 in Pocatello today. It'll be windy at the home of the Idaho State University Bengals. 48 tonight, 83s for Thursday and Friday. It's going to warm up a little bit, but we bring in these storm chances and a real cool down on into Labor Day Monday, it looks like, with some more unsettled weather. So here's the question of the day. What's something you can't look cool doing? Being on TikTok, carrying all your woman's stuff in her purse when she wants to go ride the Tilt-A-Whirl at the fair. You got, you got potato tornadoes, you got prizes, you got a pair of jeans in case she gets cold, you got, you know, her cigarette and you're holding her thermos and, and then her baby. Uh, what's something you can't look cool doing? Call me, 208-534-9957. Here's my daughter. This is Abby. She's now at Baylor, but I, she always wanted to be a mascot. And I said, you can't look cool doing that, but she did. But this is her flying high on the wings of love at the Rexburg Air Museum, posing as the duck for our rubber ducky race. But uh, it's kind of hard to pick people up or be social when you're a mascot, but she, she did a good job. Larry, on the other hand, whoop, kind of, <laughs> that ain't cool, dude. How come the girls are staying in the boat? What happened, Larry? It's also hard to look cool when you are taking the picture of the family and you want to be in it. You just ride up in there. That guy just ride up on you. And then star-spangled uh, hats and stuff, that's like a one-time-a-year thing that you wear. But look at all these people. Rebecca sent me that. They were at Bear Lake. And anytime you're posing with wildlife and try to be a bad to the bone. Appreciate you, Mark. Love that shirt, buddy. His name is... Can I get some flipper sound effects? Can I get a dolphin? He said kissy, kissy. Crank it up. That's you, Mark. That's you, buddy. Blowhole. <laughs>
It's hard to look cool when you're down there with that. Man, those fish smell. I know that for a fact. I've been to SeaWorld. All right, enjoy the day today. It's a bit chilly, some hazy sunshine. And I'll see you again on the TV and on 99kupi.com.